The program you work with, uh, Global Canopy Project and this driver deforestation um, component. So what do you do and what is your organization's mission? So I work at Global Canopy Program as the head of their supply chain program. Mm -hmm. And Global Canopy overall seeks to transition towards a zero deforestation economy, mm -hmm. deforestation free economy, looking at different approaches both from the private sector, looking at company involvement, as well as some of the financial elements, trying to create the right investment to mm -hmm. drive sustainable production, but also looking at landscape level investment. Mm -hmm. So we have the three core programs at Global Canopy, the supply chain one that I work on, as well as one looking at unlocking forest finance, and one at looking at landscape approaches. Mm -hmm. um, one of the other key projects I work on that we feature here today at the Global Landscape Forum is TRACE, Transparency mm -hmm. for Sustainable Economies, which is developed in partnership with the Stockholm Environment Institute mm -hmm. and is a new transparency platform mm -hmm. that reveals the material flows of key forest risk commodities like soy, cattle, palm oil, tracking it all the way from the municipality of production to the country of import, identifying key supply, act mm -hmm. supply chain actors along the way. Sure. Kind of talk about what, what you've seen, you know, as these climate talks have progressed year and year. Is there more emphasis on this? Are we making progress in terms of transparency? Yeah, I think that's a great question because there's a lot of momentum towards commitments, towards stepping up to, to make these very ambitious uh, promises, but there's not necessarily much monitoring of if those promises are being met or even if we're making progress towards implementing those. So part of what I'm hearing more and more of from both the NGO community as well as the private sector and governments is the need to be able to monitor the implementation of these commitments. Mm -hmm. So that's something very much that uh, Global Canopy as well as Trace is focusing on is building out the tools in order to support improved monitoring and reporting, both in an efficient way that doesn't make it more cumbersome, but also in a meaningful way so mm -hmm. we can understand which types of interventions are most effective and where to really focus our energies. Mm -hmm. Has there been quick uptake? Are people excited and enthusiastic to implement or is there sometimes a hesitation? They're worried it might be extra work or burden? Can yeah, talk about? I think it depends on the specific type of system. I think there's a lot of duplication right now in disclosure efforts mm -hmm. where there's lots being asked, uh, especially of companies, in terms of information that various organizations and efforts want of companies. Mm -hmm. So disclosing information on where they're sourcing from or what they're doing. And this can become quite burdensome. But I think in terms of some of the, the platforms, we're seeing excitement about the opportunity of interactive big data platforms to reduce this redundancy. So the ability to very quickly upload information at scale to, to make it easier for companies to communicate that they are indeed doing mm -hmm. the right thing and to credibly show that using some of these geospatial tools like mm -hmm. Trace. And so, you know, Global Landscapes from the keyword is obviously landscape. What does landscape approach mean to you? Absolutely. So landscapes for us means addressing things beyond a, sim a singular supply chain or a singular commodity, but looking holistically at the problem of commodity-driven deforestation. So for us that means looking specifically at issues around substitution, so where if you know, problems arise in soy, can, are companies just simply substituting other commodities that could be equally problematic, as well as substituting land. So where do you see leakage, where maybe you see clamping down on the Amazon through the soy moratoria, well is that simply moving those problems to the Sahado or to the Chaco, and we're seeing those regions in new biomes. So taking a holistic approach that is able to understand more clearly how interventions have unwanted outcomes and how we can best prepare to address those Great. outcomes. And why did you choose to participate? here at the GLF. So the Global Landscape Forum is a nice venue where I think it brings together a wider variety of actors working in the space of sustainable landscapes. So it's not simply just private sector or commodity focused, but it is people working on issues such as broad as red or uh, other types of land-based issues, but also actors that are working in different geographies. So we're not focusing just on one particular area, but we're, it's nice to come to a, come out of an event and have people from all over different countries in Africa, to people working in Europe, to people working in Indonesia, all having some of the same conversations that aren't limited in their scope.